Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video we're going to be exploring an example of the constant head permeability test. So let's go ahead and see what we're given. So we're being told that for a constant head permeability test, compute the hydraulic conductivity, the discharge velocity, and the seepage velocity. And we're being told that the following data was obtained. So the specimen length is 8 inches. The diameter of the specimen, of the soil specimen, is two and a half inches. The constant head that was established was at 18 inches. And remember, this uh, was measured likely from a piezometer, okay? Piezometer. All right. And um, the total volume of water collected during the duration of the test was 25 cubic inches. So this came out of the outlet in a flask of some sort. And that was collected over a five minute duration. And we uh, also know that the void ratio of the soil specimen was 0.61. So let's go ahead and start calculating these things. Let's start with the hydraulic conductivity. So we're going to say uh, K is the hydraulic conductivity. And K is going to be equal to volume, co volume of water collected times the specimen length divided by the cross-section area of flow times that constant head that was established times the duration of the test, okay? So for this part of the, um, of the question, it was uh, pretty much, you know, substitute in appropriate values if you are familiar with this governing equation. So here we're going to say 25 cubic inches multiplied by the 8-inch specimen length, um, all divided by the area, cross-section area of flow. That's going to be pi times that diameter squared over 4. Okay, so we'll lump that together. That's A. The constant head that's established is 18 inches, and the time is 300 seconds. Or we could have kept that in minutes if we wanted to keep it in minutes. Okay, um, the problem did not specifically say which units to, to calculate this in. So I just did it in, um, in seconds. So I get 7.55 um, times 10 to the minus 3, and I get that in inches per second, right? So um, that's part of our answer right here. And again, when a problem does not specifically tell you what units to calculate things in, you know, you might have a little bit more flexibility. So we, we could have maybe kept this uh, as, as minutes and we could have gotten a number in inches per minute if we wanted, all right? Um, what about the discharge velocity? So that's going to be V, all right? Little V is discharge velocity, all right? Now, when we calculate discharge velocity, that's very simple. That's just hydraulic conductivity times hydraulic gradient, all right? And so that's going to be K that we just calculated times H over L, all right? Now, we can substitute values in, and we're going to um, substitute the K value that we just calculated, 0 0.00755 inches per second, multiplied by 18 inches over uh, 8 inches, all right? So we punch this through, and we're going to get uh, 1.70 times 10 to the minus 2 uh, inches per second, okay? Um, so again, that's, um, that's discharge velocity, and, you know, we could have gotten this in inches per minute if we had kept K in inches per minute. So again, we, we use the K value that we had calculated uh, in our previous step, all right? And the last thing that we were asked for is the seepage velocity, all right? So we're going to say V sub S is seepage velocity. So V sub S, we have this relationship where we say that's equal to the discharge velocity multiplied by 1 plus E over E. So 1 plus void ratio over void ratio. And we were given void ratio up here in the problem statement. That's the 0.61. So we can substitute appropriate values in here, and we're going to get 4.48 times 10 to the minus 2 uh, inches per second. All right. Um, so 
that those are our three values. And again, you know, if we want to indicate them, there's hydraulic conductivity or coefficient of permeability, if you'd rather call it that. This is discharge velocity and this is seepage velocity. So that concludes this example. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe.